So this is my latest project. It is a controller for the CNC. I needed uh, another controller for this machine here. Um, I'm using the Open Builds black box for this one here, and it works great. Uh, but I didn't have a second one, and uh, I inherited these two machines from my brother. He never used them. They were outside, literally just rotting away. And uh, I've been saving them little by little. They work great. Um, they're the uh, the cheap Chinese 6040s that come with the uh, Forever Now VFB spindle. Those things down there. Um, but I made them work. Anyway. So for this one, I ended up at first, I wanted to make the controller with uh, just an Arduino and a CNC shield, but I ran into limitations. Uh, so then I decided to gut my K40, that's right there, um, and use the brains, the replacement brains that I had for it. Um, the brains that it's using, it's one of these, the controller, it's a Cohesion 3D laser board. Uh, it's an LPC 1669, I mean 1769. Um, it's a smoothie board. Um, they were great. I mean, I really had no complaints with them, but that late sir was extra and uh, I needed I needed the brains. So it's been dying slowly. It's been being gutted. I've taken everything out from it. Eventually it'll go back, maybe. Um, but anyway, so um let me go inside let me turn this off so yeah first of all i added led lights everywhere just because i could um including in the button so these buttons here and i found out that if i remove the two red cables there's an led light inside so i just pop that sucker off put uh an addressable led and uh now I can make it whatever color I want. Um, and then I'm controlling it with one of these that I made. It's, uh, it's just an ESP8266 to control the lights. So let me turn this off. And I wish I would have started recording beforehand, but it is too late. I'm not gonna undo everything. So inside there's that laser board and that's the main controller. It's a running uh, durable LPC. Um, eventually I'll try to reflash it with durable HAL or HAL. Uh, I've never done it, but it's possible, so we'll see. Um, it's got X, Y, Z, and A. This is the driver for X on the lid. The, the driver for Y is down there, all the way at the bottom, and then Z and A I'm using the internal ones. Um, <laughs> so I, 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 will, I went on the cheap. I really didn't want to spend any money. That's why I reused everything that I had, including gutting machines. Um, and so the only thing that I actually had to spend for this build was the screws, the hardware. Um, I had the aluminum. I literally had everything else. For the inputs, are, this is uh, these are the limit switches X, Y, Z, and this is for the probe. Um, they are just the opposite of these power jacks that I had a butt ton of them. So like I said, I just reused everything that I had and it worked great. This came out of a different machine, just like this one. I literally, everything is ripped from something else. Um, so this is X, Y, Z probe. This is for the auxiliary. I can turn on anything with this. Uh, right now it's pushing out 24 volts, but I can step it down. Um, and this gets controlled uh, through the software, so I can turn it on and off. Uh, and then this here is for the spindle. Here's how I control my spindle. Um, my next project will be to use one of these. A Maker Base MKS Tiny B. Um, I bought it just because I wanted to have something extra to play with and I find out that I can reflash it with a uh, gerbil right now it has Marlin it's meant for a 3d printer uh, but it's well documented online and I just have to figure out how to do it 
um, and now I want to build another CNC but base off of this. Um, hopefully for that one, I'll actually record all the steps and how, how to do it. Um, and I'll also be making its own case and all that stuff. So we'll see how that goes. So until next time.